How to Analyze NASA TLX Data If you're looking to understand how to analyze data from the NASA Task Load Index, NASA TLX, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps to help you make the most out of this powerful tool. First, let's talk about what the NASA TLX is. It's a tool used to measure the mental workload of individuals performing a task. It assesses workload across six key dimensions, mental demand, physical demand, temporal demand, performance, effort, and frustration. To analyze NASA TLX data, you need to follow a few specific steps. Here's how you can do it. Step one, define the task. Start by clearly defining the task you want to analyze. This could be anything from flying an aircraft to performing a surgical procedure. Make sure you understand all the components of the task. Step 2. Select participants. Choose participants who will perform the task. These should be individuals who are familiar with the task or can perform it realistically. Step 3. Brief participants. Explain the purpose of the study and the basics of the NASA TLX method to the participants. You might even want to conduct a workshop on mental workload and give them a brief run-through of the NASA TLX. Step for perform the task. Have the participants perform the task. During or immediately after the task, ask them to fill out the NASA TLX form. This form will ask them to rate each of the six dimensions on a scale from 1 to 20. Step 5. Waiting Procedure The next step involves a waiting procedure. You will present the participants with 15 pairwise combinations of the six dimensions and ask them to select which dimension from each pair contributed the most to the workload. This helps in creating an individual weighting of the subscales. Step 6. Complete NASA TLX rating. After the weighting, ask the participants to give a rating for each subscale from 1 to 20. This rating will help in calculating the overall workload score. Step 7. Calculate the TLX score. Use the TLX software to calculate the overall workload score. This score ranges from 0 to 100. The software multiplies the weighted score of each dimension by the rating score and then divides by 15 to get the final score. Alternative method, raw TLX. Some researchers prefer to use the raw TLX method, which eliminates the weighting process. Here, you simply average or add the ratings from each subscale to get an overall workload estimate. This method is simpler but still effective. Considerations. When analyzing the data, keep in mind a few things. The NASA TLX can be intrusive if administered during the task, and participants might forget details if it's administered post-task. Also, participants may correlate their task performance with their workload ratings. By following these steps, you can effectively analyze NASA TLX data and gain valuable insights into the mental workload associated with various tasks. This tool is versatile and has been used in many different domains, from aviation to healthcare, making it a reliable choice for workload assessment.